Okay, welcome to the December 19th meeting of the Budget Finance Committee. Uh, this is the first meeting of this budget season, so it's more just an organizational meeting uh, to review the schedule and things like that. Uh, first order of business, I want to welcome the two new members. We've got uh, Tacey Hartley and Brian Walker that have been elected onto the board, so we want to thank them for stepping forward and, and joining the group. And at the same time, I also want to extend a thanks to Ralph Bartholomew and William Chapman for the time that they had served on the committee. Uh, Ralph had, <coughs> I, actually I'm not sure how long he's been on there. He and I both started at the same time and it was some 20 years ago. So <laughs> he's put in, put in a good amount of time on there and we want to thank, thank them for their efforts on that. So. Uh, first order of business is to elect the chair for this year. I'll entertain motions. I nominate Ralph Olson. Second. Further nominations? Motion to seize nominations. Second. All those Second. in favor? Okay. All those in favor of Ralph Olson for the chair? Okay. Thank you. Hey, uh, as you'll notice, we are only an eight member board this year. Uh, but according to it, it's not going to change what's going to be required to pass an, pass an article. Uh, I guess we still need a majority of the voting members, so it still would require a five vote, uh, five vote majority to pass an article. Uh, it's important that we have people at the meeting so that we can make sure that we don't run into a problem with quorum or, or getting into a situation which we've, we've had in the past where we can we don't have enough to carry a full vote so that something goes in then without a recommendation either one way or the other. So. Why is it that we're all going to have eight members of the board? Because uh, three positions opened and there was only two that got filled. And so the selectmen don't fill, re fill um, uh, vacancy or we take you take applications? You do? We do, but there's under the under the budget finance ordinance. There is in a uh, it's it's uh, there's an art or a section on there that deals with filling a vacant seat, and that is that it's filled at the next election. Okay, is that so? So without without going through any kind of a major change to an ordinance, which then has to go through that whole rigmarole. Uh, you know, we'll just have to run with one short. Well, it's been done before. <laughs> uh, the big thing tonight is to go through the actual development schedule and see if we have any conflicts or anything like that that would require us to want to move a date or, or whatever. Uh, keeping in mind that things do come up from time to time that require us to change, uh, be it weather, be it the fact that uh, uh, something is occurring that's, you know, this is causing the selectmen not to be able to have recommendations in because they're waiting for some information or whatever, but uh, you know, this is a time really to try and look at that and see if we know of any conflicts that exist right up front so that we can adjust around those. So uh, everyone should have received the revised one that was revised by the selectmen on November 22nd. Uh, there, if not, there's a copy in front of you now. So uh, if anyone sees any uh, any conflict dates in there that we need to discuss, let's get it out now and see what we can do to make sure we can keep everybody available for the meetings. Well, looking at the schedule, I, I identified two separate dates that are um, specific to the Budget Finance Committee, that being February 28th and March 26th. So those are the dates we're really looking at to see if we can make those meetings. Right. So I'm the new kid on the block. Um, the 26th is also the RSU choir and band performance, which I have a daughter in. Um, 
that may not be something that can be managed, and but I just throw it out there if there was a possibility of moving it a day or whatever. But no, you said the twenty sixth. Six March twenty sixth. Sorry. Okay. Okay. March twenty sixth is actually is the voting night, so I mean that's that's one that would make sense to see if we can work around. Uh, but I don't want to up upset everybody else's schedules. So if it was one that people were open to, then that'd be great. But. Let's see, the selectmen, the, the selectmen are meeting on the 6th to make their recommendations, so uh, you know, we could either go a week earlier, which would be the 19th, if that would work better for people. Mm -hmm. Right. For a reason? For a reason, yeah. Selectmen conflicts. For the following week would be uh, would be April April second, which uh, I mean the the critical date is the twenty fifth is when you go to the, go to the printers. Would that is that going to yeah is that going to uh, back you up if we move to the second instead? I don't think so. All right, yeah. So would that date work with everybody else? I don't see any issues. It's fine, fine with me. So we we change that to <coughs> April second. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. <coughs> if we. If we have to, <coughs> if we have to call any other meetings, you know, uh, because of changes or something like that, then you know we'll get as much notice out to people as we can. Is there any? The next item would be any information that people are going to be looking for to help them in the review. Uh, Brian and Casey, I don't know what information you have or don't at this point as far as uh, what we looked at last year or anything like that if you want to if you got if you want to get a copy of the budget presentation that was given to us last year which would give you kind of a heads up on how it is going to be presented this year that would probably be uh, so I don't know if, if we've, you get that as Don as a PDF that you can shoot out to them yeah, it's uh, it's likely online, but I can see if they get it. Yeah, <coughs> but I have the no I reviewed the notes from last year online, but I'm not sure if I saw the deck, if you will. Yeah, it may be there. I can take I another look. Yeah, we'll we'll make great. we'll make sure you get hot copies. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just give you an idea, of, you know, yeah. a little bit of great. what you know what we see and uh, see there. Uh, but at this time, also, if you know, if there's things that you would like to like to get heads up on or see it's you know it's our it's a good time now for us to put in a request so that Nancy can kind of work factor that into when she's making preparations on how she sets things up uh, Peter I know you've asked for a couple of things in the past and, and uh, I don't know if you want to go if you have a grocery list or uh, not yet not yet <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, well, I'd like to continue seeing the appropriations control report See where we stand year to date. Help us make decisions mm -hmm. going forward. That's online. Though. It is. That's but if anybody would like to have to email, we can do that. I think in the past what you've done is just shot it to me, and I once I get it, I as soon as it hits my box, I forward it off. So. I think the format that we had last year was fine. Um, the only thing I would ask is that if there's anything unusual this year. I know that last year we talked about uh, the possibility of bonding some road work, uh, anything along those lines. I think I'd like a heads up on On the road thing? <coughs> as got, an example. Yeah. Well, I mean, to specifically address that, there is there is the Road Improvement Committee, which actually we did start. In, right. Uh, the intent is to have our work completed on that. 
in time for the for the annual meeting. Uh, right now, we're uh, Nathan's pulling together some stuff on uh, some numbers and things mm -hmm. like that. So, okay. uh, as soon as we get that, then they'll, you know, uh, that'll be out for some general discussions too, and, and okay. then there'll be a recommendation from that committee to the selectmen. So, then the selectmen will have to take that and factor that into how they want to proceed with it. Just going back to the calendar a little bit. Last year at the annual town meeting, I was a little surprised. I get in there and then my name tag was at a, it was like this. <coughs> so I think if we all know that, I hate to see those empty seats at the town meeting for a budget committee. Mm -hmm. So the annual town meeting, they had it mm -hmm. set up so we were sitting up front with our name tag. Yeah, in, in the past it hadn't. Last year was the first year that, they had, that the uh, budget committee was up there too. In the past, and well, in the select board, and in, in the more distant board. past, of yeah. course, the school board was up there with the board of selectmen. So we had the space, and so no, I, I no we thought we'd share <laughs> the joy. I'd just like to have everybody know that, so we, so we don't have any empty, empty seats. I would have dressed up a little bit better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, that was not anything that was uh, a deliberate plan. I think that somebody made that decision, uh, you know, during the setup. So we will definitely, uh, you know, take that under advisement. If if you, I mean, I, I don't. I don't think it really, it's really up to you. I think it's great if you want to, and uh, and if you know about it in advance, I guess that's a help. But if not, I don't know as it's a, any requirement or anything like that. So I think it's good, though, for people to see the budget committee. Okay. But no, we haven't done it. It was kind of a new thing, so. This is a pretty granular question, but on the 10th, when, Don, when you submit the budget to the to the board and to the budget finance is that just electronically delivered is it the kind of thing we should come up to the <clears throat> town to pick up i just i want to make sure i have enough time to really review it and uh it's been sent it, it typically gets sent to us electronically okay great uh, so, you know and you know if you want printed copies and mm -hmm. Louise can yeah, that's print them off and you can pick them up so in other words i don't have to do anything it's going to come it's going to come to you okay great whether it comes to me first or whether it comes to all of us, you know, but once it, if anything like that hits my mailbox, it's about five minutes later you got it, so. <laughs> so just keep checking your mailbox. That's it. <laughs> uh, but along the lines of, of any request for information, it would be helpful if, if there is a request for information that it flows through me because that way I can I can kind of be the gatekeeper on making sure that it gets answered, but at the same time making sure that answers then get disseminated out to the whole group so everybody's seeing the same information so that we're all you know all of us will be dealing from the same from the same base so uh, you know and you know on the same day you know if, if you just email email me the request I mean literally within a couple minutes of when I get it it'll be off to either Don or, or Nancy or uh, Louise, so you know, it's not going to, it's not intended to add time to the thing, but it's more that way I can kind of make sure that everybody, in the, everybody on the committee is, is getting the information too. Any other questions on, or any other Things that anybody knows of that they'd be looking for at this point. All set. Okay. Uh, any old business that we have? Whatever anything that was open from the last from the last session. I'm online on the website. The minutes from. April meeting, I think, are still not approved, so they're not a bit, they're not accessible. So, just. Meeting after that. Because I so what I'm thinking is that you might still have to approve those minutes. Is what the thought that came to mind was. But. I don't even have the date of that meeting. Yeah. I, that would have been. Sorry, I should have written it down. Well, that would have been the that would have been the voting meeting. Oh. Well. Yeah, check on that, and we can bring that up and approve those at the uh, 
at the at the meeting on the twenty uh, eighth. And you know we'll have it at that meeting. It would be the minutes from this meeting also to to review. Anything under new business? Things that people think we should be looking at or. I, yep. I, I see the select board has already met with <coughs> the town manager and set a directive for the budget process. Are there any n new directions that the select board are looking for you to go to? Well, they did consider the budget goals at their last selectmen's meeting, and essentially the goals that we've had for the past several years remain in place, with the exception of the overarching goal, which is we're absolutely going to have a, a flat budget. This year the board of selectmen said you know, we want to consider the needs of the town um, in such a way as we can submit something for consideration that would be above that. In the past, we've not done that. You know, we've recognized the, the dire economic straits that, you know, we've been in. And I don't think the conditions, by the way, have changed a great deal. So it's not going to be like a, uh, you know, a, any kind of a, a push to significantly increase the budget. But what the selectmen have said is to s that basically if there are some essential needs that have been you know, um, neglected because of this long stretch that we've had now of six years of flat budgets, then we, they would like to see that and like the department heads to be able to make a, you know, those sorts of uh, presentations uh, beyond the base budget. But, uh, you know, it's going to be another difficult year. Uh, things are not substantially better in any way than they have been in the past years. So uh, basically the, the, the budget strictures that have been in place are still in place with that one change. We've had sort of a draconian, it will be, you know, a flat budget. <laughs> They're saying it's probably a flat budget, but let's look at these other things. That's my interpretation of, of what they said. I, I know that the fire department, is, the fire rescue department is looking to um, purchase a new ambulance this, this year. Are any other departments uh, planning on using their CIP monies this year as well? Uh, to upgrade their, their equipment? I'm not aware of anything as significant as the ambulance. The ambulance is underway now. We went on a multi-town bid with uh, five other towns to acquire a standard ambulance saving about $20,000. So that, that's underway, but I'm, I'm not aware of any other uh, major capital purchases of that, certainly of that magnitude. Right. You know, there may be this obviously smaller things, but you know, we're not upgrading a, a major dump truck or anything like that. The big issue remains, and you hit on it, somebody hit it on the beginning, and that is what about the roads? That's the big issue. What are we going to do? And the Road Improvement Study Committee will come up with a recommendation. You know, we'll move forward based on that recommendation. But that's the challenge, the unmet challenge that, to my mind, that we've been neglecting. That's the big one. Any other questions or anything? All right. Thank you all. The meeting is adjourned. <laughs>